for sheer wow factor, you can't beat tropical plants for your patio. And Sabina, this is quite a variety to choose from. With our hot summers, we have great possibilities to keep them really well and give our outdoor living a tropical touch. This bougainvillea here is one of my very favorites. It's a um, tropical plant, so it grows very well large during the summer, but in the winter it has to come in. So late fall, you trim it back to two thirds of the size. And with all the tropicals, that's what we do. Okay. And then it's not a big thing to overwinter them. Tropicals, of course, have to come inside before the first frost. Okay, this is another large one here. What is this? It's a plumbago and they flower, they are trimmed into hatches in South America and the hatches are flowering and it's absolutely stunning. I imagine. Now, if you don't have room for something this big, you could always go with a smaller plant. Exactly. And uh, the hibiscus is one of the many plants which are great house plants during the winter. And if you have a, a reasonable light spot close to a window, they even flower right through the winter. Lovely. And that's a black eyed Susan? Yes, it's a special one. We grow this from a vegetative cutting from a slip. So it has a lot more flower power and growing power than the ones from seeds. Okay. And it just starts to open hundreds and hundreds of buds. All summer long. Now these are gorgeous. These are two of the same type of plant, but different varieties? Yes, they are mandevillas. And it's one of the most beautiful flowering tropical vines. And the hotter you can locate the plant, the accommodate the plant, the better it is and the more it flowers for you. Lovely. Thanks, Sabina.